Hi guys, this is my Android head unit We're looking at Vivid Launcher And I do believe this is something new uh, Let's click on install Alright, let's open this Nice Okay, permissions to show all this I'll just press allow access Just enable it And after that, go back What is this notification access i think i need to search for that with it yeah this is the one so i just allow it go back and to pair with Vivid, you will need to use a user device that allow internet access okay press next i acknowledge i acknowledge and select a model mine is the listen oh okay and um, it's actually supposed to be X true, but it's okay. True, mine is a 2015 Wi Fi setup, it's connected. Activation, okay. That's funny, yeah. You need the account or you need phone number to do this. I just press next next map yeah I didn't sign in using all those I just press next and next um, okay so it looks pretty nice pretty nifty yeah um, just press on play does it do anything okay we're looking at the music player here press on local music oh you actually find all the Okay, folders for me so that's pretty nice I can just find any song that to listen okay it's playing now um, just to pause just to play nice but if I click on it oh it doesn't allow me to choose what's in the folder so I have to play the whole folder hmm. and this shows that um, it's in a USB the song is in the USB or it's in the external memory and okay I do like this this is simple and easy to use just that I wouldn't be able to change songs yep so this is to play all the music so this is Google map as you can see there's a Google here yeah and yeah okay i can search for a place to go here and uh, see i want to go chaos cc it actually redirects me to google map instead um i want to see it in the vivid launcher actually but anyway um let's okay i think it indeed it's doing something here okay let's go through this part this is obviously home this is a google or well, this is a google map yeah i think it is when i click on it it's gone oh it's actually opening up the google map instead okay and this is a music so when i click on the music button it shows me a much bigger music uh, area I think here I will be able to uh, search for songs yeah so that's how it looks like all right actually pretty nice pretty nice yeah um, very good music player so if I press home it brings me back to the main screen here and this is uh, I do believe this is to access all the apps yes all right not bad yep and this i have no idea what is this let's see this is settings yeah so quick controls um auto resume media after reboot oh that's nice it means it, it actually knows which song i'm playing and halfway playing then it will play after i restart my, my car and this is to show the widgets music widgets which is here nice um, 
back in auto return home page in 30 seconds oh means if i were to click on something and nothing happens for 30 seconds it will automatically come back here uh, okay that's something i've never seen before but it's a good it's a good touch um, display now is the current one i think it's in uh, the christmas theme so and you can have it in the light theme dark theme or auto auto means that um, when it's daytime you will have a light theme and nighttime you get a dark theme yep so i just choose dark which already comes with that um, brightness it can be manual it can be auto and it needs um, certain permission for you to make modify so i just enable that so again auto meaning that you will know how bright is the sun then it will show me a brighter screen yeah i mean a dark area then it will show me a darker screen that's nice software and okay what is this for me to choose and change which model okay um say i'm driving a golf 2016 does it do anything it still shows the same car anyway um it's just showing different things here doesn't matter um there's a factory reset here there's a user feedback here so you don't want to mess up with anything here yeah uh, and this is sign up to get a account this is privacy so okay meaning that i can set up a password so that nobody can actually you know um, play around with your screen here especially during washing cars or fixing anything okay this is wireless connections nice and uh, i think come back to display here again uh, i think they can browse for more wallpaper so instead of just this christmas team i could have this i think is this uh, uh, default team so this is nice yeah the background looks okay and uh, i think the team doesn't change uh, the way how the logo looks i mean the icon looks yeah gingerbread santa claus and uh, what is that uh, bells and this is a skit yeah so all right um come back here again and that's pretty much it you know uh this is setting here again let me just see this is actually going to the google setting yeah but the thing is there's a floating music player here interesting yeah so it, if you go elsewhere you still have another widget here which is the music widget nice i just press home then you come back here nice and uh, this is uh, time this is to show you that the so Wi-Fi is connected and the Bluetooth as well then this part let me just click on it to show me the brightness where I can adjust yeah this is the brightest that I have and uh, this is this volume not sure whether it works or not let me just try it out yeah let me just play a song and I come here it doesn't change anything it's still same yeah that's expected yeah so let me just stop it so it doesn't make any difference okay my head unit doesn't recognize any software changes to the volume uh, okay then this is um oh, after 30 seconds i think it comes back here <laughs> that's interesting okay this part uh i forgot what is this icons for but does it do anything when I touch on it? And this is a. Uh, I think this is. Hmm. It's a screensaver. What else? Okay, I think that's a screensaver. Yeah, we we'll press on it, and you get to see this. And that's nice. And uh, what else do you have here? This is to go to the settings of this app. Uh, okay, that's that's about it. I think. Um, come back here home again I think there is a lot of uh, 
there's not many customizations that you can do here but that's what's good about it yeah uh, because it won't mess up a lot of different things if if it's too much customizing uh, then you easily mess it up so this is pretty simple uh, just to summarize what I think about this it's easy it's clean it comes with a map and a music player this is what most of the people want in their car yeah and uh, you can also go to they also link the Google map for you and uh, the music player and this is to, to the apps this is the settings so the thing is you can't really have a shortcut to your favorite apps yeah that's that's a downside I feel um, let me come here can I do anything with I click it longer nope so you won't be able to um, what do you call this select your own apps yeah for example my radio app I would love to have that here yeah there's still some space here but the thing is I don't have that kind of uh, flexibility but nevertheless this is still a very good app yeah and it's free so and it's actually quite uh, responsive as well mm, okay let's go back yeah so that's it thanks for watching and uh, if you like this please give me a thumbs up and, and if you have not subscribed yet please help me to do so have a nice day Bye.